welcome to Dory Creative. Today I have an unboxing for you of something that I found on Amazon that I thought would be good to keep my blending brushes kind of nice so that they don't malform the bristles and things like that. So I will be honest with you, when I first found this on Amazon, I didn't realize that it came with blending brushes. I thought it was just the caddy. Wasn't paying attention to the description. Always read your descriptions. But this is a good thing because now it gives me an opportunity to kind of look at the brushes and the differences. But this caddy was something that I thought would be really good. Now, I do want to be honest with you. This does look like it's packaged and, and created in China. So for those of you that are sensitive to that, this may not be for you. But let's take a look at it. One of the things first right off the bat that I was impressed by is that it had all of the materials that you needed. Not only did it come with brushes that I wasn't expecting it to come with, but it also came with a little screwdriver to help me put this together and instructions to go ahead and put this together. Now it's very simple to put together. It's just a matter of screwing in a couple of screws, but it was really nice that it came with a mini screwdriver. None of this is super substantial, so keep that in mind. It's really just meant to be an, an easy caddy for your blending brushes. So the screws themselves and the, the little screwdriver are not electronics quality or anything. But I did find that it put together quite stably when I went ahead and assembled it. I, it's just a matter of taking a couple of screws and a couple of pegs and putting it together and threading it in. I did have a little bit of trouble with some of the threads for the screws but I was able to go ahead and do the assembly without too much trouble. And it is pretty substantial and is able to hold the brushes once it's all together. So I was very impressed with the fact that it came with all the pieces. Now, it does help if you pay a little bit more attention than I did to the instructions. You'll notice in just a moment here that I assemble this, but I assemble it with the little slots misaligned. So when I go try to press the brushes in, they don't 100% go in the way that they're supposed to. I will tell you, if you do get, decide to go ahead and get this, there is a etching on it that says beauty. And if you match the beauties up from the top level to the bottom level, it will be correct as opposed to the way I initially did it, which is to not align those. So in just a moment, I'm going to try to put the brushes in and it's not going to be as successful because what you want is you do want that top slot to have a corresponding bottom slot so that the brushes go in correctly and stay in. So you're going to see that in just a moment. They're not lining up. <laughs> so I have to go in and do a little bit of repair. Now this again would have been prevented had I looked at the instructions just a little bit more closely. I thought I could do it without help so just keep that in mind. But again those etchings on the top and the bottom level, the little beauty etching, if you match those up then you will be spot on and you won't have to redo things like I did. But it is really very easy to put this together and that was something that I felt like was pretty substantial. And then now, as you see, I'm able to put the brushes in and they fit very well. I will say about these blending brushes, they are pretty dense. They have a substantial feel as far as the bristles are concerned. The stems for the brushes are very flexible. So if you like that flexibility in your blending brushes, you will like these. They are not as high quality blending brushes as you can get from your normal craft areas. So like if you were to go to some of the higher end crafting, they are not of that quality. I have blending brushes that I use and the blending brushes that I typically get are actually from the Dollar Tree. And the reason why I get them is because they are a dollar and I'm able to use them quite easily. They're a little bit smaller than the normal and they only come in a couple of different sizes. So this is the larger of the size that I get for the dollar. They're sassy and chic. They're actually in the beauty section. They're fairly dense, so they're pretty good when it comes to the density of the bristles. They're very small, and they do have a smaller version as well as a micro version. I usually just get the larger version and the same shaped smaller version. I don't usually get the micro, but I find that I really do like the ones with the Dollar Tree because they have a very stiff stock to them, so the handle is a little bit more stiff than these that I just got with this caddy. So those are what I typically use when I'm doing the blending.
And just to give you an idea, they're sort of comparing them aside. The bristles are fairly similar. The ones that I just got with the caddy are a little bit shorter bristles than the ones that I get from the Dollar Tree. But again, all of these are very, very economical. So if you're really not sure that you're going to be into blending, this might be an option for you. One other thing that I might recommend, I have this little slide type thing that I just have in my garage for some reason. I may do that where I go ahead and I mount this on this little caddy for my brushes so that I can have it be kind of a swirl or a swivel. If you have something like that or if you are interested in it, they're not very expensive and they can really make it a little easier for you to be able to use your particular brush caddy. So that's an opportunity for you if that's something you're interested in. I may go ahead and do it because it's not costing me anything. I already have the caddy. I did want to go ahead and take out some of my blending inks because I wanted to give a little bit of an idea of what these look like when you use them. So this first one is my Dollar Tree, and this is my standard. And I've got to warn you, this is a very, very wet ink pad. I think I just re-inked all my Distress Oxides. So this is pretty, pretty juicy pad. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a blending with my Dollar Tree. And the thing I like about this is it's got a very, very stiff stock to it. So the handle on it doesn't have a lot of give in it. And it gives me that sort of purchase. I also like the fact that it's a fairly small bristle base so that it, I can be pretty precise. So now I'm going to go ahead and use the ones that came with the caddy. The thing I'm noticing right off the bat is that that flexibility in that handle is not what I'm used to. But that may be something that you really enjoy and you like. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I didn't ink this one up quite as much. It's got a little bit more bristle capacity to it, meaning that it's a little larger and it's a little bit more short bristled. So it takes a little bit more oomph to do it. But again, I'm getting about the same amount of blend with them. For my own purposes, I think I prefer the Dollar Tree because that's what I've been used to. But again, that flexibility of that handle may be something that you really like. So just keep that in mind. These are very inexpensive blending brushes, and they're great if you're not sure if you're going to be a big fan of using blending brushes. If you're used to using the blending sponges, it may be something that you are more apt to use. So that gives you a little bit more of the performance of these particular things. I'm probably going to love this caddy just because it keeps my brushes stable, keeps them in a way that their bristles are not going to get ruined by just putting them in a bin. My final thoughts is that this is a great way for people who are starting to get into blending and want to try these brushes. It's a great entry level way to see if this is something that you even like. The caddy is pretty inexpensive. It comes with brushes. If you don't like the softness of the, the handle or the flexibleness of the handle, you can try going to your Dollar Tree and looking in the cosmetic aisle and see if these brushes are available at your Dollar Tree. So it's an opportunity for you to maybe get into something that you wouldn't normally do. Overall, I'm impressed. I like the price point. I'm going to be using these a little bit more over the coming weeks, and we'll see how it goes. Thanks for stopping by, and as always, the links for these products are listed down below. Have a happy day, and remember, always be creative.